It's Mr. Lee, and today what we're going to do is make a cookie cutter using our 3D printers. The first thing that I'm going to do is find an image that I want to create an outline of. And so I thought that since it's the third season of The Mandalorian, that Grogu would be a really good uh, image to create a cookie cutter. So I searched for a Grogu black and white silhouette, and this is what came up. This is, this is the image that I, I like. So I'm gonna right click on this, and then save it as uh, a JPEG to my desktop. So I'm gonna go File, Save As, and I'm gonna write Grogu. And that's on my desktop, so I'm going to hit save. What I'm going to do next now is open up Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to create a new file. Since my cookie cutter really isn't going to be bigger than about 6 by 6 inches, that's going to be my workspace. So you'll notice that I have one already kind of set up. The width, width is 6, the height is 6, and... The color mode isn't really important for this because we're going to be do using black and white images. So I'm going to hit create. I'm going to use the control key and the R key to turn on the grid and then the control key and the quote key to turn on the um, rulers and, and grid. Now you notice that I have layers opened up already. And if you look at window, I scrolled down and, and selected layers. I'm gonna do some things with the layers today. The other window that I have open is the transform window. So that's window and then all the way down to transform. And I'm gonna use that to, to make sure that the sizing is good. Uh, once we bring it into Tinkercad, we'll have to resize it too. Next, what I'm going to do is go to File and Place, and my Grogu image is on the desktop. So I'm going to hit Place, and then just select that and, and click. And you'll notice that this isn't a really high quality image, but that's OK, because once I image trace, it'll be fine. So the down arrow on image trace, I'm going to just do the default. And I'm going to open up my layer so you can kind of see what's going on here. So we're kind of in the middle of the image tracing. After you image trace it, you have to hit expand. And when that is done, you get all these different paths. And the path that I'm interested in is the one that has the outline. So I'm going to right click on this. And when I do that, I can isolate the group and then I can get rid of some of these paths. So this outside border, that white box, I'm going to delete that. So I hit the delete key. And if you scroll down, you can see I, I really don't want anything but this bottom compound path. So I'm going to just turn them all off. and get down to this very last compound path. I'm going to right click on that. And when I do that, I can uh, release the compound path. I think I need to get out of the isolation mode first. So I'm going to double click. And now I can right click on that. I'm going to release the compound path. And you notice what it does in the layers. It created all these. And I don't want any of those either. So I'm going to just turn them all off. And there I have that final path that's just kind of a black outline. What I'm going to do next is go over to the fill and the stroke. That's over here. I'm going to hit that double arrow. That's going to swap the fill and the stroke. And you notice that right now my image is pretty big. I'm going to kind of shrink it down a little bit. 
I have under the transform window, I have the, the chain links. So whatever I do to the width will change to the height. So I'm going to make this about four inches wide and it'll be about two and a half inches tall. That looks pretty good for right now. I can change that later too. The next step is we're going to create an offset path. So we're going to make another one of these paths and I'm going to go do that in the object and then path and then offset path. And what I've done is I've already kind of set my offset path as 0.1 inches. I think the default is 0.139. So you can go inside that and change that to whatever you want. I also have the preview turned on so I can get kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And that thickness looks pretty good. I think that'll, that'll print well with our 3D printers. So I'm going to hit OK. And what I've done right now, if you go back to the layers, these two paths, the one that's highlighted right now is the outside one, and then the one on the inside is the one above it. We're going to do a couple of things to these two paths. We're going to fill the inside one and make that fill white. Right now there's no fill, so if you look over here, the fill is blank. So I'm going to bring that to the front, and then this little double white and black boxes there, I'm going to select that, and you notice that it filled in the uh, inside of that smaller path. And I have to do that because when I save this, I'm going to save it as an SVG file, and that saved file, when we do it this way, we'll be able to extrude it in Tinkercad. Now what I'm going to do is select the bigger path. And again, you notice that it has no fill. And what I'm going to do now is just flip these so that the stroke and the fill switch places. And you notice that now it has a fill of black and the, pat, the stroke is uh, blank, which is fine. We don't really need the stroke for anything. And that looks pretty good. So the next step is to go to object and then artboard, which is way at the bottom, and fit the artwork bounds. And you notice I have some extra stuff here that it didn't quite fit it completely because of all these extra files up here, but that's, that's fine. I don't, I don't really, that won't matter. So now what I'm going to do is do a file and a save as. And I'm going to save it to my computer. And once that comes up, I'm going to change the format that it saves to an SVG. So that's that bottom one. And I'm going to name it Grogu Cookie, because that's what I'm going to use to make my cookie cutter outline. And next I hit Save, and then click OK. And I save that to my desktop. So now what I can do is open up Tinkercad. And I did that on uh, Safari, and I've logged into that. What I'm going to do is just create a new file. So I'm going to click on the icon and hit New Design, New 3D Design. And when that comes up, I'm going to rename it right away. So I'm going to go into here into the name and I'm going to name it the way that I want you to name files for printing. So last name, first initial, class periods one. And I'm going to call this cookie cutter. And because I've done a couple already, I'm going to call it cookie cutter four. The next step is to import that SVG file. So I'm going to go over to import here and click on that and then choose a file. And because I just saved it to my desktop it, and I sort it by date modified, it should be the one that comes up first. So I'm going to open that. And it gives you dimensions here. And these are in millimeters. That's fine. We're going to change it anyway. So I'm going to hit import. 
And what it does is it actually extrudes that outline into three dimensions. So, but it's pretty big right now. What I'm gonna do is just select the corner, hold the shift key, and then shrink this down to a more manageable size. Uh, so good cookie cut cutter is about, maybe I'll make it four inches across about. About like that, it's about 2.7 inches in depth. I'm also gonna lift this up in height. So right now it's only about a 10th of an inch tall. I'm gonna make it about a half inch tall. If I look at it from the top, it's gonna to look kind of like that. So you can kind of tell that it does have the shape of Grogu. The next thing that I wanna do is bring in a rectangle and I'm gonna use that rectangle to uh, make a handle so that we can kind of lift, you know, we can hold the cookie cutter when we're putting it into the dough. And I'm gonna make it about, oh, maybe a half inch wide or so. And I'm gonna move it up so it's kind of in the middle. And I'll show you kind of the side view of this. So you can kind of get it at a little bit different perspective. And what you'll notice is that the block is all the way through it. Well, I don't want it all the way through it. So I'm gonna select it. And if I hit this arrow, I can actually lift it up. So I don't want it all the way out of the outline of Grogu, but I want to lift it up. And then I, what I'm going to do is shrink this down. I only need about a quarter inch, maybe. So if I fly around that, that looks pretty good. The last step is to select everything and then group it. So you go up here and group it. And you notice that the colors change. And so that's one way you can tell that it's grouped. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to export this as an STL file. And that gets exported to my downloads folder. That's ready to be submitted for 3D printing. So that's what you got to do for our assignment. That's it for today. Have a nice day.